it's Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Music Mess at 2015 at Frankfurt, Germany. Another loud day in the hall. We got John from GJ2 Guitars. We got Matthias on guitar. John, you guys have a couple of new, um, more affordable guitars at this show, right? Yes, we do. This is um, uh, these are guitars that are designed by Grover Jackson um, at our place in Laguna Hills, California. But these are the first guitars that we've made that are not actually made in our factory. Well, we've had them made at an excellent factory in Korea. These are the first samples. They're to the same specs as our USA instruments. So this model that Matthias has right now is called the Shredder. It's a 24 and three quarter inch scale, 24 fret shredding guitar. Uh, Floyd Rose Tremolo, um, obviously two humbucking pickups. What, what kind of uh, humbuckers? These are um, uh, offshore made pickups designed by Grover, voiced by Grover, to give the, uh, our sound, but on, on a much lower priced instrument than we've had before. Kind of a hotter, but more like hard rock pickup, not really metal. Yeah, it's it's a little bit hotter than some of our um, our standard pickups. So it's made for rock, but it's they're not so high output that they get muddy. They're still very dynamic. Um, the production model will actually include a tone control as well. Our original um, design for this was just the volume and a three-way switch, but this will have a, a tone control. But it really is a high-performance, um, high-speed guitar for, for, for players like that. We designed this instrument originally for the USA model with Rob Marcello, a very fine guitar player, uh, plays with Danger Danger, and um, super fast, um, super easy to play, um, just really nice, smooth instrument. What about the wood complement the body? Basswood body. Um, Grover was the first person to really use basswood in the construction of electric guitars when he worked with Alan Holdsworth back in the early 80s. It's a very even response wood, good, good response right across the tonal range. So we're using that in these instruments as well. Maple neck and rosewood fingerboard. Nice. Um, Matthias, you want to play a couple different things, different pickup positions and stuff? About the middle position. Nice. The, the pickups sound really full and detailed, like the neck position, it's fatter, full bodied, but it still cuts well. It's yeah, nice really definition. Does. Yeah, that was that was a deliberate thing. This isn't going to be something that people are going to play slow blues on, we don't think. So we wanted it to really cut through in every position, but still give tonal variation. Yeah. Um, and we don't like super high output pickups because we really think that the guitar player needs to come through the instrument. The instrument shouldn't color what the guitar player is doing. So these are a bit more powerful than some of our others, but they're still not super high output. How much is this going to go for? This guitar is going to sell for $8.99 with a really good quality gig bag, USA retail. Obviously, the rest of the world prices will vary a little. So that's a retail or street price? Same thing for us. OK, cool. Now you guys have one other model that uh, I'm sure people will get the the reference, the homage when they see it. So let's grab that. All right, John. So here's the second new GJ2. Is there a name of this series, by the way? We're so calling it the Inspiration Series. Okay. So it's really for players who have been admiring our USA-made guitars, but the price range is a little bit out of their reach. Um, so we wanted to do something that was going to be a really high-quality instrument, but much more affordable. And we thought Inspiration Range was a was a good name for that. Okay. Sorry if you already said that. It's, it's so loud in here. You can hardly no, hear worry. half of what you're saying. OK, so everyone gets what this is paying homage to. Tell us more about the specs. Uh, about the, the what, sorry? 
about this guitar, just the, okay. the details. Okay, well we've been making a USA version of the Concorde um, for about two and a half years now. It's been a very successful model for us in the, in, the, in the higher end. Again, as I say, we want to do something that's more affordable. The basic construction of this is the same as our USA instrument. So it's a three-piece maple neck going right the way through the body with alder body wings, so the sides are made of alder. It's got a rosewood fingerboard, bound, um, two humbuckers as you can see. It's available with a hard tail like this or with a Floyd Rose. Um, same kind of pickups as on the shredder, but it, gives, it sounds different because of the, the construction. Um, we call it the Concorde because that was the original name uh, when Grover and Randy Rhodes sat down and designed this instrument. And Grover always felt that the, the black guitar that Randy had that got frozen in time because of his sad and untimely death, it was never a finished It was never a finished like project. like a brass pick guard and stuff, That's right? right? Yeah, yeah. Um, he, that, was that was actually the second prototype. And the idea was that Randy would take that back after the second tour and say, all right, fix this and fix that. It was never a finished job. So although obviously nobody knows, this is what Grover thinks the design would have ended up like. And it's a really popular design for us. And I think with this, with this instrument coming in at a much lower price point, but still a really high quality, very playable instrument, I think it's going to be really popular. Cool. Matias, you want to play it for us? It's interesting, the neck pickup sounded a little fatter and fuller on this guitar, which you wouldn't really expect since it's probably a little bit less mass to it. Um, yeah, but I think the neck through body construction gives a little yeah. bit more fatness in the mid-range. It's, it's, it's a lot more kind of honky and yeah. gives gives that sound that um, you more kind of associate with what Randy Rose used to do. It sounded really good. It, it, it's a really good sounding guitar. It's not the best guitar to play sitting down. <laughs> it's really it's really for wearing on a strap and throwing shapes, yeah. but it sounds great and, and the neck profile is really easy to play. Yeah. It, Let's take a look at the back. Is it at the joint in the 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 neck joint around the back? It's it's um it's an evolution from the um from the instrument that um, Grover originally designed. Slightly different um, contours here, so for really nice easy upper access. In fact, the original white guitar that Randy had when he brought it back after the first tour, he didn't like it because the upper fret axis was really bad. So the black guitar had much better access and we think we've improved it a little bit further with this one as well. But you can see it's very smooth lines, very very sleek looking yeah. instrument. Nice. Notice, so it's got locking tuners too. Yeah. Does the other, did the shredder? Yeah, the shredder does too. You don't really need locking tuners on an instrument with a, with a locking nut, but we put it on anyway because we really like the tuners. Um, they work really well. They're, they're very, um, they're, they're, these are licensed hip shot tuners. They do a great job, so um, we wanted to keep it consistent on all the models. Cool. John, why don't you tell us the price of this one and then where people can go online to check out more? Um, this one is going to be around about $800 with a hard tail and about 100 bucks more with a Floyd Rose. Sorry I'm being vague, but we're just finalizing that right now, but that's within a couple of bucks. Um, and these will come with a hard case. We think it's important for a guitar of this construction that they're well protected, so it's going to come hard case included in the price. And um, you'll be able to go online to gj2guitars.com um, and there'll be more information. We literally got these samples three or four days before Frankfurt, so there's nothing on the website yet. There's a lot of stuff coming out on YouTube, on um, Facebook. There'll be some YouTube stuff coming out as well, Instagram. So just check us out, GJ2 Guitars by Grover Jackson. Nice, thanks John, thanks Matias. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com, thanks for watching.